Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Well, I gotta say, I'm very excited because this week they just released a new trailer for the Peanuts movie. And I gotta say, I'm very excited already because I they really, you know, show a lot of good stuff that they went into by making this trailer. But apparently they did pick free random songs in the trailer as well, such as uh, The Who's uh, Baba O'Reilly, along with a song by T-Pain, I believe, and, and a Spanish song, um, a very familiar one, but I kind of forget the name. I'll look it up. But anyway, <laughs> well... They really did a lot of stuff that went into the trailer. Because we got to see all the source material that they went into. We got to see all the Peanuts game looking good and fresh in the 3D and CGI. Yeah, it's definitely going to look awesome once you see it in theaters. Um, I, I like the scenes that they chose where they actually saw uh, Charlie Brown actually... Uh, <laughs> was actually playing uh, baseball. He was on the pitcher's mound. He was ready to make the pitch while you see two snowmen. <laughs> and yeah, that Snoopy actually made and then when he made the pitch, you know, gave a home run and suddenly all of his flying clothes start to, all of his clothes is flying around. <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm just so excited. Yeah, basically, I, I figure this is what the film's going to go for. I mean, it's going to go for the, the scene where we begin to find out the new kid that's coming in town. And everybody's, uh, you know, looking over once they saw the moving truck coming by at the new house. And I, I definitely already found out what it's going to be like because I read the comics. Yeah, I mean, who this person's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> But yes, uh, got to see Charlie Brown, Snoopy, as well as Sally, Linus, Lucy, Schroeder, Frida, Pepper and Patty, Marcy, Franklin, and all the rest. <laughs> and, and already I'm seeing a lot of posters showing up too, as well as uh, a lot of, you know... <laughs> characters on there too they even got the sticker window the poster on hanging up and everything and i even went inside the uh the poster where they actually have the movie seat where you can actually sit down along with the game so yeah i even took a picture of that <laughs> and it was cool yeah i know my sister also took a picture of me sitting down so that's interesting yeah when i went to go see the movie inside out so yeah, so everything's all set. And I know all the employees were wearing all the pins from the movie too. I wish I had one of those pins. Maybe a lot, but of course, they said I couldn't have any because, you know, it's for the employees. But maybe someday they might send me a couple if, if a local feeder does. Or who knows, maybe I might take a chance on getting some on eBay or, or any other website. I might have it for sale. Maybe I might get all the the memorabilia and all the material from the movie. You know, like all the merchandising from the film. Yeah, because once the film comes out, I can't wait to get them. And of course, uh, <laughs> yep, even the um, the new movie, the new DVD of Bombay Out's Charlie Brown Don't Come Back comes out later in October. But yeah, they had a lot of work that they went into, and I was really excited. I, I just couldn't believe how excited that it really looks. And, you know, they it just looks so fresh. I do kind of wish they had picked the Linus and Lucy theme into the, the new trailer, because I think it would have looked and sounded much better as it is, because after all, this is supposed to be a Peanuts movie, so they didn't have to just keep putting all these random music at 
at heart, but I don't mind the fact that they put, uh, yeah, they picked the Who's uh, Bubba O'Reilly. Because I know they picked that same song in the trailer for A Bug's Life back in the 90s. So I guess it worked pretty well. So yeah, let's just hope that this will turn out for the better. And maybe they'll get a new trailer. This time maybe another trailer for the film. So maybe they'll, this time they'll definitely put the Linus and Lucy theme and all the rest. So yeah. But yeah, it looks great. So far so good. I mean, you definitely know what the story was going to be about. Because I read the comics and you know I have collected it all. And hopefully... We get to see what the story is really all about. Oh, we'll get to see what the story is really about. And I really hope that this movie does get a lot of praise from critics. And definitely it'll be almost as higher as the Lego movie was last year. Yeah, because I remember when that movie came out, it became a huge hit. And they... And they had a lot of buzz that's coming, that's definitely flowing around. But it was very unexpected when that film came out. I just hope this movie gets more buzz than ever before. And who knows, maybe it'll be nominated for an Oscar. If that ever happens. Yeah, because it's coming out in November, so <laughs> it's close enough for Oscar time. You know, for movies to be nominated. Yeah, I know there's going to be a lot of animated films that's going to be nominated too. So who knows? But I really hope they nominate this movie too. For the sake of being. But either way, I'm very excited for the new Peanuts movie. And I can't wait to watch it. But I gotta say, the trailer doesn't look so bad at all. But it could have been worse. A lot worse. But either way, I'd just be happy that they won't put that music in the movie itself. And they'll just figure... They might be able to pick like a random theme for the movie. So let's see what happens. Maybe they'll try to get some of the themes that that is a replica of the Vince Garardi uh, themes that they that they actually use for the series and movies as well. Yeah, who knows? But anyway, I'm really happy, and I definitely think Paul Feig. And Craig Schultz for producing this wonderful CGI animated feature that I just can't wait to see. And yes, if Charles M. Schultz and Bill Melendez, hell, even Vince Garrardi, were alive today, I bet they would have enjoyed this movie even more. They would have been proud of themselves. And I'm sure proud of them, even as a fan. So, yes. So, definitely check this trailer out if you haven't seen it already. Because already, <laughs> I'm very excited. So, anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.